Does one size fit all in preparing today's young people to succeed in the workplace? The curriculums of many high schools would suggest that there is indeed one path to high quality careers, and that path is to obtain a degree from a four-year college. And yet, only about one-third of workers aged 25 to 29 have earned a college degree. For the other two-thirds, attendance at a four-year college may not be the only route to a meaningful career. This disconnect between education policy and career readiness has led some people to question the one-size-fits-all notion of high school education. Well, students ask every day, why do we have to learn this? And so if I feel like if we give our students uh, something to relate it to in their lives, uh, they don't ask that question as much, or they can answer it themselves, and that would be even better. Uh, we have to make education uh, real to them. It has to be more than what they read in a book or what a teacher puts on a board. They need to be able to touch it and, and feel it and see it. Uh, all of those things to understand that once they leave high school, those things that they learned in high school really are, are relevant to their lives. Many stakeholders in education believe that multiple routes to employment should be available to students at the high school and post-secondary levels. A number of states have joined the Pathways to Prosperity Network, for example, to create career pathways systems that help students gain the skills and post-secondary credentials needed for 21st century careers. The same idea can flourish at the school district level. In Northern Arkansas, leaders of the Greene County Tech School District believe their middle and high schools must meet the educational needs of all students including those who plan to attend college and those who do not. This school district wants its students to see that there is more than one pathway to success in the workforce. If we only pick one track of training and we, uh, and we ignore the fact that our students may need a different skill set than what we're offering, uh, then what, we may lose the interest. Those students may lose interest, their attendance may go down, and we run the risk of them even dropping out because they say to themselves, you know, what's the, what's the need, what's the use? Uh, this is not where I'm going in my life. I'm proud to, to say that we offer multiple tracks of training uh, that allow the students to uh, maintain interest in what they're learning at high school because they see the relevance of how it will serve them in their life in the future. For many high school students, an educational experience other than the four-year college track may increase their motivation to learn and prepare for a solid career. This is one reason why the Greene County Tech School District wants to offer as many program options as possible to make education relevant for all students. The district has a strong advanced placement program for students seeking professional careers but it also offers a well-regarded agricultural and vocational program and courses related to the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps for students heading into the military. The goal is to prepare students not just for college, but for college, careers, and the workforce. We try to educate our parents and our students that you don't have to go to college to be successful. We want them to know that we feel like we have an outstanding school if you, if you want to go to college. We have the coursework that you need. There are advanced placement courses. You can, you can earn college credit here in high school, but also that there's fulfilling careers out there, even in local industries, where, where our graduates can make a, a good living and uh, does, does not require a college degree. School districts can work with vocational schools and local industries to develop additional pathways to employment for students. In Arkansas, a number of parties Green County Industrial Training Center in partnership with Black River Technical College, Green County School Districts, and industry leaders have come together to create a workforce readiness program that is the first of its kind in the state. In this pilot program, high school students complete courses taught by experts from local industries that will qualify them for immediate employment. The program is expected to be a model for other schools. If we have a need, we try to fulfill that. That's one of the reasons why uh, we did the Workforce Readiness Program was because the industry came to us and said, we have a six or seven percent unemployment rate, but we can't find workers. There's something wrong with that picture. So 
we have students that need jobs, we have industries that need workers, so we feel like the high school is, should take care of that uh, disconnect. This is an opportunity where the business people and the educators literally sat down, looked each other in the eyes and said, you know, we've got, we've got something we can do to help the, the young people. Um, it'll help the schools because these are young people that they're motivated, they're stimulated, they want to they wanna make a mark in life, <clears throat> but they've chosen not to go to college right away. They may later. So we hope that we can interest them in us, uh, us being the manufacturing business community locally. Programs that make education relevant for all students can guide them toward careers that surpass hourly wage jobs. The leaders of Greene County Tech believe these efforts also deliver a strong message to the students. If they only take advantage of the opportunities afforded to them through the public schools, they will receive an education in their own backyard, which rivals that offered anywhere in the world. When I was in high school, um, I had heard about the television program, and to me it sounded like a much more interesting way to spend my time than a study hall. When I started the program, I immediately knew I was going to enjoy it. Um, I had a teacher that was very passionate about it. She got me interested in it. And I think it was, it, it was a lot more than I was expecting it to be. I was thinking it would be a lot more simple, um, pretty basic, but we actually learned a lot of skills that um, are actually pretty key in, in the job that I'm in now. Definitely a benefit of being a part of this program um, for any student that's in it or, or gonna possibly be in it. Um, I actually had something to show my boss. If you just graduate high school, sometimes you don't have the experience to pursue a job like this. But me, I actually had something to show my boss, some of the skills that I had to show my boss. Um, so that was very key in getting the job I have and keeping the job that I have. To learn more about Greene County Tech School District, visit the organization's website at www.gctsd.k12.ar.us or call 870-236-2762.